House Republicans are moving forward with their look into Joe Biden and are also vowing to hold Hunter Biden in contempt for defi defying their congressional subpoena to have him come testify behind closed doors yesterday. Joining us now is Democratic Congressman from Illinois, Raja Krishnamurthy. He sits on the House Oversight Committee. This is one of the Republican-led committees that's spearheading the impeachment inquiry. Congressman, thanks for coming in. So President Biden is now formally facing this impeachment inquiry. You have called it absurd. Do you think there is a chance here that they will come up with anything concrete, they'll uncover anything concrete that will make you reconsider how you are describing it today? I don't think so. I think we've looked at so much uh, quote unquote evidence that the Republicans have put forward and even Republicans like Mitt Romney and others say there's not a shred of evidence implicating the president in any wrongdoing whatsoever. What I keep hearing from Republicans is that this is an impeachment inquiry, and that does not equal actual impeachment. Let me play Republican Chip Roy for you on this. This is an impeachment inquiry. That's all. What are my Democratic colleagues afraid of if there's nothing to see there? What do you say to that? Well, I think I would just inquire why there's an impeachment inquiry vote when we have so much other business to do. And I think the reason is they need something to bring the caucus together, which is other, otherwise fractured on funding the government or doing any of the other things that our constituents want them to do right now, Kate. Do you think the argument that we hear often from all sides, we can walk and chew gum at the same time, are you saying that you do not think that the Republican majority in the House will be able to walk and chew gum at the same time when they kind of go now full speed into this impeachment inquiry? Well, I'm, we're not able to take up anything substantively in the House to do. Yesterday, believe it or not, the signature vote in addition to this imp impeachment inquiry vote was whether or not we should allow whole milk in schools for our children to be drinking. That was the substance of the proceedings yesterday. And so we're really at a loss right now as to uh, how we're going to fund the government, how we're going to take care of aid to Israel and Ukraine, taking care of border priorities and so forth. I have seen, you know, over the years, um, I've seen many statements from your office, many emails um, from your office and from you and statements from you talking about just in general, and I'm not talking about when it comes to <laughs> the impeachment inquiry of Joe Biden, but in general, the need for people and institutions to comply with congressional subpoenas. Even though you think this investigation sure. is absurd, should Hunter Biden have complied with a congressional subpoena to appear in private? Well, he actually did one better than that, Kate. You know that. He actually said, I will appear for a deposition as long as it's in, in the open. And I think that, you know, Republicans stand on shaky grounds when they say that he is refusing to appear to answer their questions. All he's saying is, in light of their distortion of uh, private deposition testimony and the fact they're selective leaking. He just wants to make sure that not only can they and we hear his answers, but the American people can too. There is always a negotiation over coming to appear, they're often, I should say, in coming to appear before a committee. But by the letter of the quote unquote law, if you will, didn't he defy a congressional subpoena? I don't think that a court is necessarily going to say that he defied the subpoena when he said, I'm going to appear, uh, but I'd like to do so in the open in light of past abuses of the process. I think it, had he said, I'm not going to appear at all, I'm not going to produce any information, that would be another issue altogether, similar to what President Trump did when, when he was being subpoenaed uh, in past Congresses. In this case, uh, the Biden family has produced tens of thousands of records. Ten, at least 10 witnesses have appeared from the Biden administration. I think it's probably a stretch to say that they're not cooperating with the, with the uh, House at this point. I, you were talking about any, the substance that occurred or lack, uh, lack thereof um, in terms of congressional action yesterday on the floor. Also happening yesterday, the House did pass a bipartisan resolution denouncing um, anti, the troubling rise in anti-Semitism on campuses and also the congressional testimony of three of the university presidents about 
anti-Semitism on their campuses. The vote breakdown was 303 supporting the resolution, denouncing it, 126 voting no. 84 Democrats voted for this resolution. 125 Democrats voted against this resolution, denouncing this congressional testimony. You voted against it. Why? Um, I condemn the testimony, but one sentence within the resolution called for basically uh, their firing by the universities. I think that's within the province of the universities and not something that Congress should be doing. Um, I think that what they said was abhorrent, and I totally disagree with the way they approached the line of questioning. Congressman, thank you for coming on. Thank you so much. John. All right.